So this is a lateral view on a patient with segmental anomaly of the L5-S1. Here, as you see here, you would think that we are addressing the L4-5. Now, uh, when we move on, I will show you uh, other pictures of this that we put actually a neuroprobe right here and stimulate it, and the L5 root is the one that's coming out. That practically proves that this segment anatomically is L5-S1, as well when you count the uh, ribs, you have five lumbar vertebrae, non root bearing vertebrae, so this is L5, this is S1, so almost fully developed S1. In the AP view, in the other video, you see that there's segmental anomaly, meaning that the ring is not complete, and there is as well the lateral masses are not used, so completely fully developed S1. The uh, importance of that is that the different nerves may be the ones that got, get stimulated. So we start the OLIF, and practically this is the marking, and once we put the, our marker, we start the surgery as, at 7.53, and here we put the Jamshidi in, and first we get some bone marrow for uh, mixing with our biologic. Then here the tube and dilator are in place, and what they do literally uh, enable us to access the disc base safely. They protect the nerve root and the dura, and a series of tools are used to perform discectomy. Here is a very large disc base. So what I do, I put the disc in the, its lower profile, practically, and then once in place, I turn it 90 degree for the final positioning. So here is after it's turned, here is before it's turned, and that literally enables us to go in the lower profile and uh, turn it in vivo. Then the rest of the surgery is practically putting uh, K virus in all segments. And then once uh, all four K virus are in place, what we do is uh, putting the screws in. And here again we go for putting the, this is a device we use, we call it the corticator. It goes over the K wire and then grind the surface of the facet and then the pack biologic very stream for, uh, forward process, and now here go the screws going in. Now, this, after the screws in are in, obviously we stimulate. We stimulate the Jamshidi and the screws. The right L5 Jamshidi was giving us signal at 11. It's unusual, usually we get signal much higher. It's still good, but uh, I, that is a very inter interesting finding about that that was, even though radiographically was good, but it was giving us a signal at 11, but not what you would expect from tibialis anterior gastrocnemius in that level, but it was giving us a signal from quads. So again, either a segmental uh, anomaly or some uh, other uh, uh, kind of uh, nerve abnormality. One of the uh, pictures that I like to show here is specifically when I'm stimulating the uh, screws, this picture. I think this is a very crucial picture. Um, here we are putting extra foraminally the probe, neuromonitoring probe, in the foramen and we're stimulating at uh, five milliamp and we get a signal of L5 on the right, meaning that this segment have to be considered L5 S1 because that's the L5 nerve root that's exiting in that location. Um, now, here is uh, one of the rods is a little too long. We put a, a, a rasp and push the rod back. And then the rest of it is actually just finishing the surgery, and uh, here lock, everything is locked, and this is our final picture. Thank you.